And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be hitting rank 7 with the Qatari Beast Tribe in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Mifri. What's up? So, again, I've done enough dailies to max out rank 6. And I'm actually very close to being all level 76 just by doing Qatari. So, let's now talk to the Qatari Serpent. Um... So the quest is called What Ails the Forest? The Great Serpent of Ronka would enlighten you as to the greatest mysteries of the universe, or so you believe. Scree. The Great Serpent lets out a high-pitched squeal. It appears to be feeling anxious about something. Speak with Sharkwell to see how the excavation effort fares. Okay, let's do that. So, welcome back. The Stopple's feeling more comfortable than ever, thanks to all those helpful supplies you and our friends from Plimabo brought to us. Uh, Father and I have also gone uh, diving in the depths below some 20 times now, and you won't believe all we found. Indeed, my boy. Uh, perhaps the most important discovery of all was of the relics and records confirming the interpretation of history engraved on newly restored uh, third stellar. Our ancestors enjoyed amiable relations with these curious catfish people, and indeed did share our food supply with them, allowing them to survive the age of great famine. To their misfortune, however, they were a stubborn folk. When they refused to worship the deities of Ronka in favor of um, their old gods, they were driven from the land. Whether they still live on in some far off land, none can say. Uh, poor catfish people. If we ever meet someday, I promise I'll be your friend. At any rate, we have explored all there is to explore in the third stratum, meaning that it is time that we ventured further below. Fortunate, unfortunately, we find ourselves in a bit of a bind. Uh, my most trusted scout, uh, Tawul Manol, um, has yet to make a full recovery from her ailment. On the contrary, others here in the Stopple have been suffering from uh, similarly unpleasant symptoms, even those who did not accompany Darwell on her expedition below. I must say, I find myself at a loss. Might you be so kind as to accompany me as I look into the matter, Mifri? So, Tara was on the verge of making a full recovery when her condition took a sudden turn for the worse, and it pains me to say that she is not the only one so afflicted. The symptoms were mild at first, but in no time uh, their fevers flared up, the pain and dizziness to so severe that they cannot even rise to their feet. So the medicine that Master Quinfort brought from Fennel has served to ease their discomfort somewhat, but with more of us being stricken by the day and their conditions ever worsening, I fear it will not be long until we exhaust our supply. I am loath to impose upon you gen your generosity once more, but might you be willing to go back and procure another batch for our friends? Surely they will take pity on our plight. Sure. So forgive me for not being able to travel with you, Mifri. I must stay here and help Father tend to the sick. All right. Okay, so let's travel to for now. Let's see what we need to get. So. All the beast tribes, to be honest, have gone by a lot quicker than I thought they would. It's an interesting story, the Guitari. So, this is most distressing news. Let's ensure that we will not stand idly by as our Qatari friends suffer. Um, if our remedies may serve them well, I am happy to provide you with as much as you need. That said, uh, to tell the truth, a similar malady 
um, to the one which you speak has come to for now as well. While only a few have taken ill thus far, I must say that this does not bode well. Uh, now that you mention it, a travelling merchant from Sliverbow who sojourned here just days ago had a similar tale to tell. Whatever this affliction is, I fear it seems to be spreading. So Kitari, Vs and Humes alike, all stricken by a mysterious plague that spreads in the blink of an eye. Um, in all the years I have lived, never have I heard of such a thing. I hope I am mistaken, but my instincts tell me that this is no common chill. I fear that the medicine I gave you will offer little more than a momentary re reprieve from the pain. Do not say such things, Master Lanil. This lack of confidence ill befits you. Uh, though it pains me, I suppose there is little that we can do but ease the suffering as best we can until we determine what has caused this. Pray deliver the medicine to young Sharkwall and ailing Kitari. Should our efforts to find a cure bear fruit, we shall send word at once. Cool. So, let's quickly go back. So, as I said, it's been interesting to do the Kitari every single day. Um, and I, I am thinking, though, that once I'm maxed out rank-wise, I might not continue. I might just do other ways of leveling up, but we'll see. Anyway, here's Sharkwell. So, Mifri, did you bring the medicine from for now? Yep. It says, a satchel holding a small amount of herbal remedy, traditionally favoured by the Vs. Oh, thank you. Uh, your benevolence that knows no bounds, but uh, just look, whatever am I to do? Not long after you left us, father suffered a terrible coughing fit. He has not gotten out of bed since, and one by one the others have joined him. Uh-oh. Father believes that there is a chance that we brought some ancient pox back with us on the ruins beneath the stopple, or that we ourselves have spread this disease in travelling to these parts of our former home. But as for the truth, we cannot... My friends, are you all here? I bring most gracious uh, tidings from Sliverbo. It's Valan. He has taken ill with the plague. He exercised the utmost caution when tending to poor Torwell, but to no avail, for the disease has stricken him too, and with great vengeance. Master Valan too? Indeed, I fear that it is uh, none other than he who, albeit unwittingly, carried the pox back to Sliverbow. Uh, it is true that the Visa for now too suffer from this uh, frightful affliction, a great plague threatening to claim the lives of all who call Greatwood home. I shudder at the thought. You have no choice. From today, all Qatari who will stand will devote every waking moment to ingestivating the disease. Yes, in Father's name, I hereby suspend the ex vacation effort. Scree. Oh, the great serpent. It speaks. So, by God's ancient and true. So, put away not your shovels and spades, young Sharkwell. The excavation must go on, for verily, uh, so spake the divine protector of... Ronka, spake. Um, aye, many a prayer have I offered to the Great Serpent on behalf of the ailing, and today my prayers have been heard. Uh, uh, through me, uh, Wattle's own blood, the Divine Protector, shall lead you to a cure for this rightful plague. Uh, trust in it, in me, and the suffering of our peoples will soon come to an end. Scree. So, Master Quinfort, a great serpent of Ronga, of course. You speak true. If Arvo is right, and we Katari are responsible, 
um, of the spread of the disease and the answers we seek might yet be found along with the undiscovered Stella. After all, if this is indeed some ancient pox, it stands to reason that our far forefathers left behind some record of it, a record that may very well shed light upon its cause and its cure. Uh, with poor father bedridden, it falls to me to carry on the dig. I will find the Stella and save our people, even if I must do it alone. Your bravery is most admirable, young Charcoal, and yet, even the Divine Protector watching over you, are the tunnels not too dangerous for a child? I am no child, my Squinfor, I have lived three whole years, and in just these recent days I have accompanied Father into the depths from time and time again. No one is better prepared to search for the Stella than me. Sharpgrove can do it. Oh, thank you, Mifri. A vote of con defense uh, from you means the world to me. Mark my words, I will get to the bottom of this. Uh, such courageous words spoken from one so young. Uh, Sharkwell, uh, you're truly a shining example of all your people. Uh, worry not for your dear father. Mifri and I will see that he wants for nothing while you are exploring down below. Go in uh, safety and know that we pray for your success. Okay, so let's talk to Sharkwell. So it's not simply for the future of the, my fellow Qatari that I must find the next Stella. It is for Father, for Valan, for the Vs who suffer in Fanal, for all uh, who call Ratika home. I must succeed. Let the ex vacation begin. Okay, sometime later. So Charcoal has safely returned from the exploration of the tunnels. So you return, my young friend. Thanks to the great Sir Wasis. And do my eyes deceive me? You return alone? Indeed, on all our previous vacations, an avatar of the Great Serpent, <coughs> clad in a suit of armor, arrived to welcome Father and I to the Stella's resting place. This time there is none to be found. Inconceivable. The Great Serpent forsaking a descendant of Ronka in their time of need? Um, Intutable plea. Uh, the Divine Protector moves in mysterious ways. But worry not, my friends, for I was able to locate the four Stella myself. And thanks uh, to uh, be to the Divine Protector, there was barely a scratch or scrape on it. Uh, yes, using the tools and techniques you have supplied to us, I do believe we will be able to raise it to the surface in pristine condition. Remarkable. Truly you are a paragon of Ronka, um, industriousness and ingenuity. Now do tell, did the stone provide any new insights that might help us fend off the plague? Um, oh, Master Quinfort, you will see for yourself once we raise it to the surface, but let me tell you what I saw with my own eyes. Uh, pictures uh, provincially in the center was none other than the great serpent itself. Atop his head sat a gloriously large and fluffy green mass, before the serpent, a man in Ronka garb raised his hands in sheer jubilation. Glorious, this um, inconvertible proof uh, that the Divine Protector guided our ancestors to enlightenment just as it guides us today. Sadly, Father is in no condition to share with us his thoughts on the carvings. But no matter, with the Stella in impeculated condition, I'm confident that my um, imperturation is the correct one. Uh, yes, there can be no doubting it. With a mighty scree, the Great Serpent did 
bestow upon the Ronka people a giant tuft of grass green fluff, uh, which cured them of a dreadful pox. Uh, no doubt it is to guide us to this very knowledge, the cure that would save our people, that the great serpent appeared before me. Uh, glory to the Scree. Truly, the Great Serpent works in mysterious ways, but there can be no doubting that what happened here today was none other than a divine miracle. Um, if I might be so bold as to expand upon your insight, young Chalk, well, I believe I can identify precisely this uh, miraculous object which the Serpent did carry on his blessed whatever. Uh, verily, this can be none other than the greatest blessing of Ratika, Ronka Moss, which grows so verdant and lush in our forest home. If I recall from my studies, Ronkan moss can be harvested from numerous sources, but in particular certain rocks found in the husk, upon which it grows in great abundance. <coughs> Mifri, ally of Ronka, you have my word that this is the last time I will oppose upon you. Might you be so kind as to go forth in search of the moss that will save my people? Splendid, and young Sharkwell will make for for now. The Vs will doubtless have insight to share on how to brew the moss into a proper elixir. I am deeply obliged uh, to you, my friends. Um, I will tend to my father and pray that his condition has not worsened in the meantime, until we meet again. Okay, so we need to get a high quality item. So once we're ready to gather it, we will continue. Okay, we made it. But we need to get a high quality, it says chunk of slow serpent type, which is this one. Um, so let's increase our quality gain. Um, these grounds will retain a high quality by 20%. Okay. And then this one as well. Okay, 100%. There you go. Oh, yeah, I had um, a gathering on. So I gathered four high qualities by accident. Right. So we got it. So once we get back to turn it in, we will continue. Okay, we made it back to Sharkwolf. So let's talk to him. So did you find the moss friend? Oh, please say that you did. Yep, I have got some to spare. It says a hunk of mottled rock covered with thick, uh, with verdant moss. So oh, splendid, splendoricious. Uh, why it looks just as it did on the Stella. We must prepare the medicine at once. So following the method illustrated by carrying, sorry, the carvings on the Forstella, the stewards brewed an elixir from the Ronkan mass, moss, sorry, and distributed it to their ailing friends. Before long, the symptoms eased and a brighter mood returned to the stopple. Uh, no longer lacking the manpower, Sharkwool and his friends built a workshop where the medicine could be produced in large quantities to be distributed across the Great Wood. Okay, sometime later. So, reports have it that our friends in Sliverbow and Fennel are all on their way to making a complete recovery. 
All love, Ratika, truly is in your debt, uh, Mifri, and I have no words to express my gratitude. You have my gratitude um, as well, Mifri. But we must not forget the Great Serpent who guided us to the cure. Speaking of which, where did it go? It's not our place to question the workings of the Divine, my boy. No doubt it felt its role here was done and returned to the place where only the gods know. Does that mean I'll never see it again? Scree! <laughs> Did I hear what I think I heard? So the serpent returns to us, or perhaps it was watching over us from behind the stella all along. A doubtless so, Sharkwall, indeed, the great serpent truly does work in mysterious ways. And so it was the, the Qatari who claimed the history and knowledge of their forefathers, and in so doing, played their role in returning peace to the Great Wood, just as foreseen by a certain uh, pro protagonating priest. Um, all was according to the Great Serpent's plan, or was it? Three? Okay. Random ending. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to him. Ah, uh, Mifri, I cannot thank you enough for all that you have done on behalf of my boy. No, um, on behalf of all the stewards. Uh, you will be pleased to know that we have succeeded in producing the mossy brew in large quantities. Any fears of the plague sweeping through the Great Wood are all behind us. Did you ever find out what caused the disease, Father? It's difficult to say for certain, but I do have a theory. Plants, blossoms and trees abound in the Great Wood, all possessing their own seeds and spores, uh, some of which can be quite poisonous. Uh, lesser poisons exist um, as well. In that case, one might build up an immunity if one lives for long enough in their presence. At the same time, different areas of the wood are home to different flora, each uh, bearing their own poisons. And so living for a hundred years far away from this place, you say that we have a different enumity than our friends in Sliverbow and Fanal? Precisely, my boy. More precisely, we carry an element of the poison within us, and it is... Uh, this which protects us from their harmful effects. The downside of this, of course, is quite clear. When these poisons are carried to a new place where others are not accustomed to them, the self-same thing that protects us from their effects can have harmful effects on others. As other poisons of our own bodies are unaccustomed uh, to can harm us. So this sickness, it was all our fault for coming here. Perhaps and perhaps not. We are not the only ones who travelled here when the path through the ravel was opened. We Katari, the creatures of the forest we saw on our way, doubtless uh, the spread of the pox was inevitable. And besides, in coming here, we have rediscovered a powerful elixir fashioned by our forefathers, uh, one that we might use to prevent any further outbreaks to disease amongst those who call the Great Wood home. So, looking back, I suspect that matters such as these were the, a source of great uh, consternation, or whatever, um, in the days of the Empire, when people moved about the Great Wood often and in droves. No doubt that this is why it was the Ronkers who discovered the cure, with the guidance of their Divine Protector, of course. The same Divine Protector who remembers uh, well the events of those days, and who led us back to the remedy it has shared with our forefathers so many years ago. 
The Forstella was has been reclaimed, and with it, another piece of our heritage. And yet, the Qatari did not do this alone. Uh, you, ally of Ronka, your friends Quinfort and Valan, our loyal allies amongst the Vs, all played a part in making this day happen. Given our people's mutual histories, it is perhaps fitting. Uh, wouldn't you say so, Sharkwell? Intutably. At long last, I understand how people must have felt in the days of Ronka, where our peoples uh, cooperated and lived together in a great civilization. So, the wisdom of our forefathers has saved us today, but we must not rest easy. We have to, sorry, we must continue to learn and record our experiences, that our own wisdom might serve those who follow in our footsteps. Uh, there is still much that I would study as well. Pray come back to visit us, my friends. I would be happy to share with you all the wonderful things I am sure to learn. After all, while the serpent with the last, sorry, sorry, with the hat has gone off somewhere, the helmeted one remains with us. Surely this is a sign that there is still much to explore in the tunnels below. After all, why would it remain with us um, if there were not additional pathways or passages through which it seeks to guide us? Um, oh, I can hardly wait to see what uh, may yet to be unearthed. That's complete. So you've achieved one. Uh, you are. So, yeah, more embodiments of the great serpent have taken up residence in Hopple Stopple. They appear quite pleased to see Katari Stella restored to their former glory. Furthermore, you can now access wider wares. In fact, now that I'm rank 7, I, let me actually see what the wares are. Might be able to get them out. So. No, not items, sorry. This one, exchange. So let's get this, the flute. Let's get the orchestra and roll. And let's get the. Oh, apparently, I've already got the minion. Actually, let me check again if I have the minion, because I, I might have just been full on bag space. Yeah, I was full on bag space. Whoops. Right. So, let's take a look. So, mount guide. It's always... I think it's this one. There it is. So it says, this ancient Ronka urn was discovered empty, save for a particular flute, the sound of which caused the vessel to suddenly become thus occupied. Where did it come from? The curious may be compelled to inquire, but the wise know better than to question the divine. Okay, let's summon it. Okay. So here is this weird mount. Okay, you get this for finishing... Getting rank 7 with the Guitari. And then, uh, let's look at the uh, minion. So, I don't think it's that one. So I'm trying to work out which one it is. Let me just search for the word Ronka. Ronka. There we go. Right, so this is the one. So it's the helmeted serpent. So this incarnation of the great serpent of Ronka is said to have appeared before the stewards and directed them to restore the broken Qatari Stella. Equipped with a mining helmet, the all seeing divinity obviously has no need of such mortal. Uh, contrivances uh, to navigate dark caverns. Fair enough. Cool. Alright, 
So that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.